Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft How To. This time we're gonna take a look at the Botswana Rendezvous. So, this is pretty much, uh, you know, you could, you could compare it to the uh, Mongolia and Yurt I did a couple weeks back. It's basically one big circle with the roof on top, but this roof is not a dome, it's more of a, um, I don't know, uh, a cone? Yeah, let's just call it a cone. <laughs> a triangle shaped cone, yeah. So if you go towards the roof and look from the top, you'll see it's actually an uh, octagon. Look at that. There are eight lines over there. I think that's an octagon, right? If it's not, I failed my math once again. But what else do you right? The roof is the hardest thing to do in this build, in my opinion. But it's not hard, it's more of a... You know, it's annoying. Like, it's, there's a certain pattern there, you see? It's like, first you go with this, like... Over here, you start over here, then go around, then you, then you go one to the side, three to the bottom, one to the side, three to the bottom, one to the side, three to the bottom, and you just keep on doing this. But it's just annoy so annoying to play all these stairs like crisscross like this. So it's not really that hard, but it gets pretty boring really quick. So that's very much a rule, and since you have this little gap in between, you can put a block between it and that's also the block that you will see from the inside and from this block you can basically decide whatever you like the most whatever you think is brilliant when you fly around this base with your elytra or whatever you think is the most beautiful from the inside anyway once we enter the base you'll see the uh, the decorative walls that protect you and give you some privacy as well from your neighbors as a well and some farmlands try to do it a very wild farmland like play a lot of random plants and some bamboo with super cane so it's more of a wild garden instead of a beautiful structured one well yes well i tried to make it a little bit smaller than the, the last well i made so it's more charming and i actually dig this one i really dig the design i think this is one of my favorite well designs. It's not that difficult. It's actually very easy. Nice setup. It's very easy to build, but it looks pretty beautiful, in my opinion. But on the left, it's kind of the same aesthetic as from the right. Instead of more farmlands, I decided to put more berries and flowers, coarse dirt, potsol, and grass, give more bewildered look of the garden. But once you enter, I try to do the best of two worlds. On one side, Try to do more of an interior design, and the other side, I did some redstone stuff like uh, item sorting in this example. So, for the interior, I tried to use a hammock over here, a very big hammock. So, once you go upstairs, you could use a little steel area with a hammock where you can read your books or just hang around, ham around. <laughs> and down here, we got the kitchen, you know, the standard stuff, some nice decorated thing. But again, as I said in my last video, it is very hard but a beautiful interior design. It doesn't take hours and hours to make in a very big building. So I tried to keep it a little bit more simple. In my opinion, it's easier to just divide this big space into different rooms and make all kinds of smaller rooms. But I also want to show you what I will do in a big building like this and it's actually use that gigantic space for something that you need a gigantic space for. For example, redstone or maybe you want a mob farm. That's what I will do in a big building like this, but I want to show you both worlds. And yes, this thing actually works as well, but this is very standard item sorter. I use the, the old item sorter from uh, Impulse or any other person who <laughs> made an item, so it's not that hard. And then over here, the final room, I tried to make a very big bed. As another example of how you could do interior design in a big house, just make everything else big. But the only con is that you can't really use the big bed to sleep in, unless you put like a smaller bed on top of this big bed. That would actually be very funny. Wait, let me check that out. <laughs> yeah, there you go. When you have a bed on your bed, do that. It's beautiful. And over here we got a small storage room. In case you don't want to sort your items and you just want to draw them all in one big room. Well, one small room. Then you can do that too. 
let's take a night vision poach because we're gonna look at the roof and I made it dark on purpose not because I don't like it <laughs> but because well you know you can light it up of course but it gives a more of an eerie feeling to it so what's going on the roof so I decided to build a lot of structural blocks over here that support all the way to the roof as you can see it's basically the same as in the Mongolian yard but here I tried to expand more on the side as well it and branch off to other structural support blocks and did it basically everywhere and in the middle we got the structure that keeps everything together so all of these structural lines in the middle at least not the one from the straight areas they go over here and this gets connected to this kind of you know in like umbrellas or beach umbrellas where you have this uh, stick that's holding together all the flaps from the umbrella this is basically the same method so you got this middle stick over here that's where all the support is going towards and it holds it together with this uh, system over here of course it doesn't literally all together but it looks like it does right it looks like this thing clicks down like you can pull it down <laughs> and it clicks in this spot so yeah it's basically the same method and so that being said let's go into the survival build
there you have it. It's not that difficult of a build. But, and I tried to have more of a creative swirl over here. With the, uh, the bite from the circle. And well, as you can see I added more stuff. Uh, that was not shown in the video, like the garden in front, some lightning. And I also changed some stairs so they are not connected. So that way you have some more variation in your roof without using different uh, colors or different blocks. But this is also a way you can have a different pattern. And now you could also use um, say another deep slate block. I'm not quite sure how well they go with the deep cobalt deep slate. You can play around with it, you can use other blocks as well of course. I just feel like the color, uh, the color combination of the white down here and the black up there. So that's why you keep sleeping instead. Then once we enter, I add some more light. Actually, I don't know if I showed that in the video, but I did add some light. And the enchantment thing over here, this is as old as I don't know how I say before I was born, but I don't think this game was made when I was born. But it's uh, but the design is very old, but still works quite well. If you can somehow make it even more hidden that there's an enchantment table there, then it works even better. And we like this patio up here that we have. This little inside terrace. It's very wonderful. I liked it a lot. There you have it. That was the uh, Botswana Rendezvous. So oh, there you have it. That was the Botswana Rendezvous. If you have any suggestions on what you can do next, please leave a comment below and I'll take a look at it. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.